Welcome Virgo to Pachala's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of February 1st to the 15th of 2024. As I was getting into the Virgo energy, I really uh, felt that the words peace and um, uh, power, when I say power, it was more of the awareness of cycles and how one would use those powers. Um, because now you're working with the cycles. And when you work with the cycles, it becomes, for instance, you plant and you know when to plant because you work with the cycles, you know when to reap. So you reap a really good harvest. When it comes to uh, Virgo, also you need to be the real you. So um, if there's people around you, I come from a very loud family. And um, so when, if there's a time that you don't be loud, you know, but you just wanna be you, Virgo. You wanna be you. And as you're being you, it allows for unity. So I do feel that many of the Virgo, you're gonna, oops, have this unity. Uh, and for some of you, this is more than one person. This is a group of people. Um, this could be just two people. Look, it may not be the unity that you're looking for. However, you will be a part of this unity. There will be, and this is the message. I, I should just even name this thing, this video about giving and receiving. And there's a lot going on here. There's the be, uh, being the authentic you. You're uh, recognizing the power in cycles um the unity so there's a lot going on here and i feel that many of you virgo are feeling the these cycles and especially when it comes to relationships and the cycles in relationships the cycles within you the cycles of your body and look they can be manipulated, but you must be careful and think twice before you do manipulate, uh, whether with it, ho hormones, false hormones, with different ideas. Um, but the giving and receiving. Love, romance, relationship, Virgo, February 1st to the 15th of 2024. What? Oh, oh. You know, Virgo, the joy card came flying out of the deck. Love, romance, and relationship. And there's the joy card. Show a spirit, Virgo. February 1st to the 15th of 2024. Now, Virgo, we're talking about cycles. Good, happy, joyous. And then all of a sudden we have, uh, oh, some crowing and cackling of bad news. That sounds like a cycle to me. Let's see what else the spirit show us, Virgo. Cycle, oh my God, phenomenal luck, good signing. Oh, and now the love. So could this be that many of you Virgo are ending this cycle of up, down, up, down, just making it barely surviving, oh my God, to, oh, the sun is shining. Oh, we have phenomenal good luck for the Virgo. Phenomenal good luck. God bless you. Because some of you Virgo are just the salt of the earth. And here is the park, which is the telling of a new love. And for some of you that are in committed love 
relationships. This is your love going to another level, Virgo. So does that pretty much answer the love, romance, and relationship? And putting these cards back into the deck in different areas of the deck. And then I'm going to shuffle and we're going to ask about career finance. Career finance, Virgo. I, you know what? When I'm seeing the Virgo, I'm seeing a big, bright smile on your face. Okay, so let's see. Career finance. Okay, first card. Oh, two cards came out here. Let's see. What do we have? Again, this is finance. Bad and then a commitment of good. Okay, career finance, good fortune and healing. So let me just say this, your career in finance seems as if it's falling in line with your relationships, which is good, not so good, good, not so good. And then it's like, whatever it is, is broken. There's this healing um, and blessings. So it's not just happening in the relationship. It's happening also in finances. These two cards also fell out of the deck. Uh, overall, this is success in all ventures. And this is being recognized for your labor, being recognized for maybe being who you are, your authentic self. Oh yeah, that's how we started this whole reading. It's as if when you are your authentic self, Virgo, I don't care if it's being silly, but there's a proper time to be silly. You don't wanna be in the middle of a board meeting when talking about a serious situation, or if you're a doctor, you don't wanna be in the midst of an important situation. Uh, you know when to be silly, but sometimes being silly is what we need. Now, I wanna go ahead and uh, pull from <clears throat> this deck of cards uh it's from uh new zealand it's the ancient oracle of the oteria oterio i am going to try to pronounce these words but there we go so here we go virgo virgo show a spirit which is virgo need to know Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, two cards fell out. This is so interesting. Look how alike they look. Isn't that something? And this is nine. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna uh, actually look it up in the book because I, you know, this is new to me, but I've noticed that when I, uh, I could do the whole reading actually on one card. Let's see what the, uh, <clears throat> the words have to say in this booklet pertaining to the spiral, Koru, Koru, which is the number nine. Fresh start, beginnings, new life, growth. Rejuvenation, awakening, dawn, hope. And this is number 16. And this is the circle. Uh, <clears throat> Harmony, harmony, harvest, effort reaps rewards. Boy, doesn't that sound something. Serenity, peace, plenty, uh, proper timing, welfare, care, and cycles. That's pretty much everything that we said. So uh, for those of you that this as I do these monthly 
readings. I, I try to do them twice a month or even more, I try. Um, I try to go with what your strength and what your weaknesses are. So um, you, you call them your shadows and your strengths. So this is the strength of the Virgo for February 1st to the 15th. The angel of decisions. This is your strength. So you can make decisions, how to move, where to go and how to do it. What's the blessing? Even though it may not make so much sense to everybody else, it's as if it's it's right there for you. And look, this is your shadow side. Isn't this funny? It is your clarity. So make sure you know that you know. It almost seems as if it's contradicting the other, but uh, I feel like you're figuring things out. So look. Pay attention to your dreaming. Virgo, if this resonated with you and you would like a private reading, patrellasintuitiveinsights.com, listed in the link below. Um, and with that, uh, thank you so much for helping my channel to grow. Actually, clicking the like, share, subscribe, and leaving a kind comment. I, I believe all those things help my channel it's fast and it's free and it really does help me private readings and um thank you very much god bless you